hello and welcome to my channel so i'm in the house right now i'm cooling off i was outside in the garden um mostly in with the berries so i went out and um checked on the chickens we had raccoons which i'll explain later on um but yeah it's been eating a few of them uh so i went out and checked on them it ate all of our eggs last night i did get two more today so i was able to get a couple of eggs today um chickens are very stressed out roosters out there just a crowing away today we have three roosters, but he's actually, the raccoon's gotten a couple of them now. So, um, we're down to three. We had five. Uh, we have three different, uh, chicken coops. We have our young, our young pullets. We've got some bantam showbirds out back. And then we have our production egg layers, um, in our main coop. Uh, and it's been getting into our main coop. It's not gotten any showbirds. It's not gotten any of our pullets, but... They are getting, it is getting our eggs and our chickens that lay the eggs. And it's gotten five chickens so far. Um, but we went through, I went through and uh, in the video and you'll see, I definitely should have brought a container with me. My shirt was stained, full of strawberries. Um, so I show some of that and then all of our berries and the blackberries and stuff. So I hope you enjoy and uh, if you like, if you, if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and please Hit the thumbs up. The weeds out here are out of control. But I do have a bunch of strawberries coming in. And there's some there. And it's really bright out here, so I apologize about that. I went out and checked the eggs and thought I'd see if I found some. And didn't bring nothing to carry, so we're carrying in our shirt today. But we're going to walk through this and see how many strawberries we can get. I got poison ivy coming up in here, so I think next year we're going to be doing uh, raised beds. I'm going to get my strawberries out of the ground and go to raised beds. My rest of my garden is not raised beds. I mean, if you've seen my other videos, you know they are not raised beds. But I do plan on getting, I have that little white one right there, and then I've got a great big tractor tire that is strawberries, and I'm hoping to get all these strawberries that are all through here everywhere through here and then I got some rhubarb that didn't get picked but I let it go to seed and then all my asparagus is the whole area the whole not the whole area uh the length of the area just on the edges also in this mess of weeds is the blueberries I'll try to cast a shadow with myself over this but and those are coming in nicely I've got four bushes out here that one this one here is a little small you can still see blueberries coming on. I can hear a bee buzzing. I don't know where it's at. I see all these cute signs when I go to stores that say, don't mind the weeds, we're feeding the bees. That's what I'm going to go with on this garden. <laughs> we're feeding the bees. Okay, so this side of the strawberries, I've actually got a ton of flowers and there are strawberries in here. However, in with the strawberries, I've got it's either poison ivy or poison oak. So last year... We did pick out of here, and we did wash them really well, but I got poison ivy, and my mother-in-law got, or my stepmom got poison ivy, not my mother-in-law, sorry, my stepmom got poison ivy. I got it on my hands, my arms, she got it on the side of her face, but I think she might have eaten one right out of the garden, a little too close to the poison ivy. So these strawberries, I'm not picking from this year. I'm just going to let them grow wild, and in the winter, we're going to rip everything out including that poison ivy. And then I'm going to cover this area and not use it and hopefully kill out this poison ivy because we've ripped it out a couple of times and it is not it is not coming out very well at all. But So we will be hopefully taking care of that. Hopefully. We'll see. But I'm going to get this pile of strawberries in the house. My shirt's not quite big enough for what I had picked. I still got more out here, but let me show you my shirt. Still got more strawberries out here, but uh, I don't have enough room. Ran out of shirt. I'm going to look at the berries while I got the phone in my hand, and we'll go look at all the, I don't know if you call them black caps or blackberries. It's like the ones you can find growing on the side of the road, but I've got them. Um, here's my wooded area, and they grow pretty much from the road. We have five acres, and it's kind of like not quite a square, but it goes all the way from the road clear out there. comes all the way over here. We're cleaning out the garage so snowmobiles outside. All along the other side of this, and then they go all the way over there, and then that little 
shed right there. There's one way in the back. They grow all the way through there. And so we're going to check those out in just a second. All right, so we also have, this is one of our cherry trees, and this is the other, and then the other two trees on the other side of that truck are apple trees. Um, our cherry trees, we never get anything out of them. The birds get to them before we do. Um, or the raccoons, we always get a ton of raccoons, but. Right now we've got one that's been hunting our chickens. All the cherries on the ground, and they're still hunting my chickens. They got in there last night and got one, and they got three the night before. But I got cherries all over the ground, and they're over there picking off my, picking off my chickens. Okay, so I have one. Uh, I have a. This tree gives us berries. We have uh, two of these, and can't remember the name of it. And the berries don't want to come in, huh. into focus. And then all through here are the raspberries, and like, I got them coming in. The thorn, they're not thornless, they're full of thorns. This one here took over this tree. Just grows everywhere. But it's kind of fun to come out here. Now, they always come in in the height of mosquito season. So, I'll walk out here and I'll be in a hoodie when it's 100 degrees with it over my face, breathing in mosquitoes. But it is worth it. I never pick enough at a time to can, even though as many as we have, they don't all come in at the same time and I've never gotten enough to can some jam out of them, but they have a lot of seeds in them, so I don't really like a seedy kind of jam anyway, so we just freeze them, put them in smoothies, and we eat them. Okay, so the last part that I'll show you today for like garden-wise stuff is, okay, so I have this green stalk, it's got most of my lettuces, they're getting ready to bolt. Um, these purple peas, I am in love with these things. This one here has only got a couple in it, so I'll probably eat this one today. Now, I did not grow enough peas to be able to eat them all, to like make a whole meal out of them. I only did a few of them, and they're coming in one at a time. But I've never grown peas before, so I thought I would try it in this controlled environment here. And I got a couple of green ones so far, and then these are the first of the purple ones, and I am just in love with this. And... My daughter ordered this little turny thing for me at Christmas time. She bought me the other green stock over there. Don't mind my laundry hanging up online. But she bought me that other green stock, which got mostly herbs and strawberries. And uh, she, when she did, she got the little rolly thing. And then she ordered, or not rolly, I don't know, a little turny thing. And I got a few more flowers, so I'll have a couple more of the purple peas coming in. But these things taste good. This will be the second one that I'll get to eat, but I'm excited about that.